This is the day that Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Hallelujah. My name is Tony Eber from Rich Life Faith Center. How are you doing today? Father, we thank you for another wonderful day. We thank you for keeping us alive to see today. Father, indeed, we are happy and grateful. This is your doing and it's wonderful in our sight. Thank you, King of Glory, because as we call you all days, you are hearing us and you are showing us great and mighty things we know and not. Father, we bless you all day. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Man, today I want you to join me to cry unto the Lord in faith and say, Remember me, O Lord, like David cried in Psalm 106, verse 4. David cried unto the Lord. He said, Father, remember me. Are you saying that today, that Father, remember me, and he will remember you in Jesus' name? Our God will not forget us. He even promised. He said, even our mother will forget us, but he will not forget us. Yes. See, because it's very difficult for a suckling mother to forget the baby. You see, however, even a suckling mother may forget, but he that has been carrying us right from when we are in the loin of our father will not forget us. Hallelujah. That's a very comfortable promise. However, there are certain things we can also do that can make God to remember us. There are certain conditions. Though the first condition is that God can remember you by favor. Because he said in his word, Romans 9, 15, he told Moses, he said, Moses, I have mercy upon those who I have mercy upon, and I will have compassion of those I will have compassion for. The Lord will remember you with mercy today in Jesus' name. And the Lord will have compassion now. Upon everything that concerns you, the Lord will remember you for mercy and for compassion in Jesus' name. Amen. However, there are other things we can do that can make God to remember us. A life of holiness, a life of faithfulness is very, very important for God to remember us. Yes, initially, God remember our father Abraham by favor, by mercy, by compassion, by choosing him. Because I'm sure Abraham is not the only son of Terah. And God called Abraham and said, Abraham, get out of your father's house. And Abraham did by obeying, you know, by being obedient. And God counted the obedience as faithfulness unto Abraham. So obey the word of God too. God can count it as obedience for you. So, and God keep, Abraham keep on walking in faithfulness in front of God. Walking faithfully in front of God can also make God go remember you. Yes. That is the truth. You know, God remember David. Yes, when you worship God always, when you serve him in season and out of season, whether people have seen you or not, God will remember you. Of course, you remember when God want to replace Saul and God want to choose a king from the house of uh, Jesse. He told Samuel, he said, go to the house of Jesse. And Samuel said, what would I go to do there? He said, go and choose a king for me. And Samuel said, ah, so we kill me if you know I'm going to choose a king in the house of uh, Jesus. He said, no, tell Saul that we want to go and tell everybody who asks you, we want to go and do sacrifice in the house of Jesus. You know, even David was not around. And nobody even can tell the worthy as one of the persons that can become the king. But when the Eliab came to pass, ah, Samuel said, indeed, this is the Lord's choice. And God said, no, 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 no. That is not mine. Because we men are looking at the face, but God is looking at the heart. When our heart is pure before God, He will remember us. When we serve God with our whole heart, it will remember us. When we are assembling in season and out of season, when men and women are seeing us or they are not seeing us, He will remember. Us. David was in the bush, keeping the uh, sheep of uh, his father. And day and night, David was praising God. David was serving God. David was faithful with the sheep. And nothing even happened to the sheep. And God remembered David. Because David was faithful. David loved to praise God. Do you love to praise God? Do you love to sing unto him? I want you to do that. To praise him. And God will remember you. Yes, 
David will remember. And after all the Jesus son that are in the house passed, none of them was chosen. Samuel asked, is there no more any of your sons somewhere? I said, oh, I remember that little boy in the bush, but what can that do? He said, go and bring him. We will not sit down to meet until David will come. And when David got, God remember him. And David was anointed king. Yes, your act of praise, your act of faithfulness, even when nobody was looking at you, can make God to remember you. Yes, do you remember Jacob? And you say Jacob, the supplanter. Yes, Jacob. When Jacob ran away from the house of Isaac to go to serve uh, Laban, he was faithful that he can even challenge Laban. That even when I was serving you, none of your sheep was missing. And even when it was even destroyed by a wild animal, I would replace it at my own estate. You see, to be faithfulness, honest, and trustworthy is one of the things you can do for God to remember you. When you are faithful in serving your boss, where you are working now, God will remember you to give you your own business. And God remember Jacob to give him those business. And God taught him, even himself, how to make work. When God remember you, he will teach you. When you are faithful, working faithfully, in face of God, God will remember you. Yes. And when you remember to pray away, God will also remember you. And when you are faithful, you remember Anna. Anna was faithful. And midst of all challenges, and midst of all scorn by the, the, the second wife, Go still remember Anna because Anna was with you. She was going to Shiloh every day to pray. Every Shiloh she will go. Are you tired of going to Sabo? Don't be tired. Keep on doing the good work. God will remember you. You say, yeah, maybe God has forgotten me. God has not forgotten you. God will not forget anybody. God cannot forget anybody because you are in the presence. Only keep on be faithful. Don't go back. The word of God says, the man that put his leg, his hands on the plow. And it's looking back. It's not worthy of the kingdom of God. Whatever good did you have, continue. God will remember you. Yes. God will not forget any man. He will remember you. Today, the Lord will remember you. You remember Colinius? When Colinius was praying and serving God, even though he didn't know God then, and was doing good deeds, giving offering. God remembered him. Yes. And God even sent Peter. Oh, he called Colonel. He said, send men to go and bring Peter to come and teach you more word of God and baptize you and your household. And Peter followed. And Colonel and his household was baptized and covered to serve Christ with you. When you are doing the act of kindness, out of offering, out of giving, out of prayer, God will remember you. Don't desist from doing the act of kindness. Yes, God remember Ezekiah. Even when prophet Allah told him, hey, prepare your house, you are going to die. And the prophet left, and the sky had turned to God. I said, oh Lord, remember me. Remember all the work of my kind man. Remember this. Remember that. I did this for you. I did that. I did it for this fellow. God will remember you when you are doing act of kindness. You see, God never forget any act of good that you do. He will always remember. Yes. Whether it is long time, and you think God has forgotten, God has not forgotten you. God sent prophet back. Go and tell him, I've added another 15 years to his age. Yes, God, you will not die today because God is going to remember you. Yes, God will always remember you when you do the act of kindness. Remember, God remember Mordecai for doing the act of goodness. Yes, do good things. Behave well. Whether even people are doing evil to you or bad, continue to do your good because God will not forget you. Yes, do you remember? Even Nehemiah said in Nehemiah 13, 14, he said, God, remember me. He now said, all oh, this act of kindness has been doing, building the wall and doing this and doing that for the God, and God remember him. The Lord will remember you today. The Lord will remember your offering. Just don't forget to keep on doing the act of kindness. Give to your brother. Give to your sister. Give to your wife. Give to your husband. Give to your church. Yes, do your offering. Do your sacrifice to your church. Give willingly, not grudgingly. What you want to give grudgingly, don't give, but you give willingly. And let your giving be out of pure heart. You cannot be keeping malice and say you want to give God. God will not accept it. Make sure as far as it concerns you, you are at peace with all men. And God will remember you. It is important. When you live a holy life, God will remember you. Yes, holiness is godliness. When you live a holy life, God will remember you. Whatever you do today, the Lord is going to remember you. He will remember you to heal you because he has already healed you. It is easy to remember to claim it now. And he will bring it forth. He spring forth 
God will remember you. In all the aspect of your life, the Lord is going to remember you. Concerning you, woman, here yeah, you have been looking for the fruit of the womb. As God remember Hannah, as God remember Sarah, as God remember Elizabeth, today you will be visited. An angel of good news will come to you and say, Blessed are that woman, and you will carry your baby in your womb. Rest assured, God will remember you. You are looking for a job, God will remember you today. Only give your life to Christ and say today, say after me, Lord, I've come to you. I give my life to you. I confess all my sin. Lord, accept me as your son and savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. You are my savior. I'm born again now. Thank you, Jesus. You pray that prayer, you are born again. And you are born again. Rest assured, the Lord will remember you today in Jesus' name. I help you in all your way. My name is Tony Eber. My number is 080-380-37674. That's my WhatsApp number also. I want to repeat it again. 080-380-37674. Call me. That's my number. Send prayer requests to me. Let us pray together. And so, so call me. Tony, how much are you paying on this radio session? I pay for one week. I pay for one year. You can do it. Whatever you can, wherever you cannot go, your money can go. Let us be partner in taking the word of God around the world. The Lord will remember you. The Lord will bless you. Meet me on all my social media at Anthony Egba, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. This at 5, 6 a.m. There about. And listen to me on this radio station. Every week, this same time, this same week. God bless you. Go. The Lord will remember you today in Jesus' name.